Good morning, everyone. It is 8.05 a.m. I actually woke up at like 7 a.m. and I actually realized I did not charge my phone, so I was actually kind of waiting for it to charge. Now it's 8.05 a.m. I'm actually in the middle of, I have two phones, by the way. One is for my personal, one is the Google one. So I'm actually just reading my emails to see like if there's any changes, and usually I like to change a few things on my calendar based off of what I see or respond to few emails that are immediately required for me to respond. I am actually going to the office today. I am going to be going to the Hudson 315 office. I kind of jump around between all the offices, so I will be getting ready. But one thing that you don't really remember about when you go to the office is odor. <laughs> as weird as that sound, or just to make sure that and to be honest, I'm not really a perfume person, but when Dossier reached out to me about doing a collaboration, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. I actually am pretty interested because you get to see all of these scents that are inspired by scents that are in mainstream, but it's way more affordable and it's more versatile. I've had perfume before from Bulgari and Gucci, but Honestly, they have a lot more scents than the typical like, ooh, smells really floral or smells really spicy. So today I'm trying to decide because I got these two, Ambry Saffron and Floral Marshmallow. I was actually really curious about Floral Marshmallow just because of how, like, Marshmallow? Ooh, that's a really cool scent actually. So I'm going to do that today. So it's got top notes of Marshmallow, Neroli, well, hopefully I'm saying that right. Neroli, bergamot, and middle notes of orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine, orris, then base notes of amber, vanilla, and musk. So, very simple packaging. The scent is really good. I've actually tried this earlier and I was asking like, what do you like between the two of them to Addison? And he actually liked this one. So I'm going to try that out today. And honestly, when you go to work, sometimes you don't, you know, like you're so used to your own scent. You don't actually know how you actually smell like until you ask someone who has not been with you. Like for example, Addison's still not a good person to ask because he's just used to my scent. So who knows, maybe like I smell so bad or maybe that I just wanna smell good, you know? And when you go to the office and especially with RTO, it's definitely something that like now you have a reason to use perfume or go to an event, but this is something that is subtle enough and if you do it on like your, your wrist or you do it on your neck, sometimes it's just like some after smell, after scent. And then I'm just gonna spray my wrist from far away like that. And then rub it. I don't want it too strong. And then rub it on my neck. There we go. And then what I'm going to be doing is giving you a discount code. If you're interested in Dossier, definitely check out the code down below. I would definitely check them out because it, they have a lot of scents inspired by other mainstream scents or at least like mainstream brands but i think it's really cool because it's definitely more accessible and it's just as the same um so x what i would say is definitely check it out and if you're interested in any scents let me know like what down below which ones you end up getting good morning Don. it's our birthday tomorrow do you smell me do you smell me do you smell it Oh, oh, she licked me. My girl. My boy. I have to say, like, I just put on my neck and actually smells really good. So <laughs> I like it. I'm not usually a perfume person because it's so strong, you know, because sometimes it kind of smells like you're in a chemical factory. But this one actually smells really good. It smells like homey and sweet. So it's a good scent to have, especially when you go to the work. What are you guys doing? I got this little cat tree for their for Dawn's birthday. So cute. Hmm? Sora? Sora. Oh, my boy. Flop, flop, flop. Oh, he's not flopping today. Hey Google, what's the weather today? Today in Brooklyn, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 59 and a low of 44. Bye. Bye. We do this little send off because we don't go to the same office anymore.
Not thinking I can never live without you by my side And then I spent so many nights not thinking How you do me wrong And I grew strong That mic is still on Yeah, he is with me in this office. Okay. <laughs> Nice to know that you're not alone. I feel like a lot of times when you first start out and you're just like the only one in the office, it's, it's pretty mm -hmm. isolating. She's very good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, I think you're in good hands there. Um, and you know, like having Nick there is yeah. the best too. Um, So just a little debrief of what I did today. Because I was in the office, I couldn't really do a monologue. It's like very open space shared to everyone. But essentially, I didn't really have any calls in the morning. Usually I actually block that up as like focus time. I'm most productive during the morning, either in the office or when I'm actually at home. So usually when I go to the office, I actually do a lot of the work in the cafe in the morning, reading emails, trying to make sure I figure out what I'm gonna do. I sometimes do read emails while I'm on the subway ride itself, but honestly, a lot of times I just listen to my audiobook and just listen to that. It's like something that I, I'm gonna make use of my commute to be able to at least listen to some audiobooks or read some books. So after that, I had lunch. I didn't film that part because that would show a lot of employees, like actually around lunchtime, that's when a lot of employees, there's like lines everywhere. When I first went to the office, it was like way shorter lines, like maybe even no lines, but now there's so many lines and I wanted to film the food <laughs> that I was eating, but then the three other coworkers I was with would be like, what? You actually met two of the coworkers that I had. Uh, you have someone who's like singing during our meeting and then you have the other person I sit next to. Actually, the, the desk itself is like, everyone has their own desk technically, or will have their own desk. But uh, two of us have actually just been sitting there because our entire team, and they're actually like, the whole shopping ASA team is, oh my God, what's this little thing in my hair? The whole shopping ASA team is the entire area. It's like, not like we're necessarily on a team. We're just kind of like pods under managers just for separation purposes, like seven to, eight reports I think per manager according to like some kind of Google thing I don't know what it is but so I've been doing that and I've been doing some on whatever like every other Wednesday there's like a bi-weekly shopping ASA call that's like all of the ASAs on at least like the western hemisphere I don't know if like there's any others on eastern I'm pretty sure there are but this is like particularly our team and we just like go through updates and we do rotate on who is actually hosting so the person you saw that was actually singing is the host of this particular day's call so after that i did three one-on-ones i did have like a few things here and there where like there was an assignment my, my, my buddy gave me earlier in the day before lunch and then i was writing up the email for me to send out and then we were going back and forth in between my one-on-ones on, on how we updated so now I am back home and that's honestly how it's been like for, for me so far. I've been doing a lot of onboarding, a lot of training, a lot of shadowing, one-on-ones, and it's only been like a five weeks and I still have not done like real client accounts yet. I have spoken to my manager that I think that I'm ready for like one or two accounts and usually we get it, it's like, it depends on what kind of area you're in. Some of them are just like you get hundreds of clients, which is a little bit different because they're smaller size, or you get like big clients and you get like, eight, 10, 12, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I think it depends on revenue size as opposed to the actual size of the company itself. But, so that's what I've been up to. We actually do have a offsite planned in Boulder. So I might potentially, might, I'm not sure, 
might vlog that. It depends because I don't want to show employees face. I'm not allowed to show that unless I have their consent. But um, so that like I'm, I'm not even mentioning their names either because I also feel like that's a bit mm, that's a bit close to comfort. I'm technically not allowed to share employee information. So I'm going to try to eventually do some kind of official office log where I'm like walking through the office. But now like there's so many people on the office, at least like with the Accenture one, there weren't that many people in the office because they don't really go wander around. And if I did, like I would just be able to have some cuts that I don't include them. But here they're a little bit more strict. Hopefully I figure out a way so it's like the best of both worlds. But for me right now, it's just ramping up to learn about my role, learn about the people on my team. They're very chill. They know exactly what they need to do. They know what they want to do. They know how to get there. So they're very high performing, chill people that I would actually be friends with. And there's actually some that do live near me. So who knows, maybe we go, go out for coffee or we hang out or something like that. But yep, yeah, that was the day in my life. And in general, I would say that when I go to the office, I've actually been trying to schedule it in a way where I just mostly have like in-person meetings. Like for example, the one when we had the bi-weekly call. Uh, I chose today actually to film this because of that. Yesterday I did not. Yesterday I actually had a lot more things to do, but there were two high profile, like very confidential kind of calls. That was like a town hall and then a social. So actually my role particularly is like very siloed. It's like I am working with that client and technically the people on my team who are not, they're, they're technically, on my organizational team, it's like they're also shopping ASA, Advertising Solutions Architects, but the true teams on the client is like really someone from like the head of industry or from engagement manager, sales or a sales specialist, shopping specialist. There's like many different types of roles that are out there. And depending on the project, you may even have like a solutions engineer. But for me particularly right now, I have not been on any client projects. I will do more vlogs when I do get client projects, but so far this is a true day of my life. Get your goodies. So sometimes I take some food for you and some drinks from the micro kitchen like I showed in the vlog. That's one. No food? Okay, it's probably in the top pouch then. Yeah. Ooh, is this for me? No. Nope. And then the nice. other one, the bagel of mine. That's it, that's it, that's it. There's nothing else in there. You little greedy. You little greedy. <laughs> so usually I like I save half a bagel from breakfast and then I eat the other half today for dinner. Uh, usually I get avocado smoked salmon, but like at this point it's a little bit like a brown avocado, but it's not bad. I'm just going to eat it still. So my plan tonight is I'm just going to be editing a video. I've been editing a video like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night and right now it's Wednesday night. I do have like a pro bono call that I have at 8 p.m. for TCC uh, and then tomorrow is Dawn's birthday so I'm not video editing so I'm just trying to front load the editing in the week. Probably have to edit this weekend too honestly. Now I am editing my videos. I have a pro bono call at 8 p.m. So gonna wait for that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna edit my video. Productive work day in my life as a Google employee. This is gonna be like literally the same week. I filmed this on Monday. This is on, this is filmed on Wednesday, by the way. So this little productive day in the life is at home, not in the office. Sounds good. And uh, just random question, but does this mean I go to all the DNI sync? Is that or we were just here to talk about that one snippet in that section. But does this mean I go to all the DNI sync? Is that fish? Look, Derek is here now. The way to end the vlog. He's here for Wednesday. Oh my god! He's here for like Wednesday through Saturday. <laughs>